have another phone caller on the line. Kent from Springfield, he has a question about guardianship. Kent, you can go ahead with your question now. Uh, yes, um, I have a 16-year-old special needs daughter. And I know that we need to, I've been told we have to do a guardianship on her, but we don't know how to get started or where to start or Okay. Uh, so consult with an attorney. Um, that is the first step. Guardianships can be very complicated to some degree, and you definitely want to make sure that you do it. Um, and I don't practice guardianships a lot, uh, but time is of the essence to some to to some degree. She's um, if she's 16, she'll be 18 before we know it. These are, in my opinion, documents you want to have in place before she reaches the age of major a majority, and you just consult with an attorney. They're going to be able to give you advice, walk you through it, um, and it's something where they're going to know how to help you and what you need to do. It's, it's not something that I would recommend doing on your own. You know, Erin, that's a great point because getting an attorney on a guardianship, I mean, that, those are complicated documents. Um, you know, you can try to find the documents yourself and fill those things yeah. out. Sometimes they say go down to the courthouse and they'll give them to you or you can find them. Let me tell you, when you're, when you're dealing with a guardianship issue and you're trying to um, be the guardian of someone. It's uh, the courts, you know, they make you jump through a lot of hoops. It's a very, very, very uh, stringent standard that they hold you to, and the paperwork has to be exactly correct because doctors have to be involved to give court uh, uh, reports back to the courts. Uh, so, you know, Aaron hit it on the, na the nail on top of the head. Get an attorney to do this because it's very complicated. Great advice here on Law Call tonight.